So what is the chan- what are the chances that, uh, the Baron is actually just really fucking insane and is actually a really, really bad dude? I mean, we didn't trust him going in, but oh boy. Come on now. Oswin? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. I'll go in there. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! I do have Ard. Maybe, perhaps. Uh, we'll see. Oh, Jesus. All right, save the stable and the horses trapped in the burning stable. Well, I will try. We'll talk to the Baron afterwards, because this is ridiculous. Damn. I tried to... <laughs> I tried to blow out the fire over here. Oh, come on! Get out of the way! Don't worry, I'm getting the horses out, and then I'll blow up in the area. Nope, didn't work either. Crap. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm trying to do stuff, but I might be dying soon. Where is the door? Well, I'm dying. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't... I couldn't find the door! <laughs> You'd think it'd be super easy. Just go to one of the sides. But... I didn't see it. It's all behind rubble. See, like, there's a door. Damn it, it won't budge. Probably bolted on the inside. Okay. Need another way in. So, we're gonna assume that big ass door is the way out. It might be behind a bunch of rubble. Damn it, lots of smoke. But I can reach it anyways. Here we go. <laughs> We've a hero in our midst. The horses. Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! Oh, you really want to do this, Baron? They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Well, that was easy. <laughs> I'm just all, like, worried about the fire and stuff. We need to talk. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Aha! Uh -huh. Your wife. How 
how'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Uh-huh. I like how his little back shield thing is waking up, by the way. <laughs> like, just kind of randomly detracting, and it's really pulling my attention. But I think maybe Geralt's being a little too aggressive in his... <laughs> in his assault on the Baron. He's all like, oh yeah, I bet you beat her, right? For nothing. Ah. It's like, hey, maybe, maybe even, you know, I don't justify beating anyone, but if someone beats someone, I have to assume that in some kind of mindset, they did it for a reason more beyond, uh, you know, I don't know, what am I saying? I know, I've, I, I've known very crazy uh, people myself who flip out over nothing, so maybe I shouldn't say anything. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? I really don't care. <laughs> you know? Let's see, how did they flee? What happened? They didn't run away, you drove them out, no matter. I know how to find them. Uh, well... I really want to say the third one. I, I don't care about you being a flaccid prick. Doesn't much matter now. I know how to find them. Oh, that's not how? what I want to say. I know about the baby. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. It seems. Ah, uh, I want to know more. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. And so I assume that during the tussle, that is when she lost her her little pendant, her little amulet. Okay. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. 
She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Well, you know, maybe you should work on yourself one day. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't rely on your daughter to calm you down as you proceed to almost beat her mother. But we're not going to be too judgmental. We just want to find out what the hell happened. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless. On bloody sheets. Dead. And it was my doing. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Yeah, but you live in a world where not giving things proper burials turns them into crazy fucking curses. So, gonna have to be honest with you. Dumb move, but I feel your pain. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... Fucking what? Uh, you don't need the details. I, you really don't. Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. I will do my best. <laughs> I will definitely do my best, but if it comes down to it... Stabbing the hell out of it. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, ease him into things very slightly, trying to be nice, and then just Geralt drops a bomb and leaves him... Oh, gosh. All right. I would like to have a save, but, eh, let's go. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? 
So dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Ah, oh, boy, shit is really dark. A bit further. Follow me. Alright, Baron. You're just gonna have to give me a second. Need a manual save. In case I need to alternate the timelines. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Yeah, next time you have a miscarried child, maybe you'll know this. That sounds mean, but goddammit. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now, I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. Oh no. What's that mean? Botch things on the prowl. Oh shit. Look. I want to turn the bus again to a lubricant. Quick. But if it goes garrity, it'll bite us in the ass before we know it. Keep screaming, it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets clear and restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods! Back to the fortress. Yeah, let me have Axie on standby. As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends and change it into an American. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, I super sympathize with the Baron. This is an awful experience in so many ways for him. If I imagine that as, like, 50 times more disgusting looking than we see in the game, yeah, I can see it as terrifying, considering that, like, the, the beastie areas are like, it's the most disgusting thing you'll ever encounter as a witcher, and I'm like, it actually looks kind of cute. In a fucked up, oh god, that's a deformed fetus kind of way. Uh-oh! Oh, shit! Yep, trying! Can I stun a Wraith with Axie? I can! Nice! Oh shit, they weren't dead. That was actually an accident. I was trying to put Quen on myself. <laughs> What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a leprechaun. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Huh. You know, she kind of looks familiar. Now, Baron, while you walk around, let me just, uh, quickly do something. I'm gonna put... a Spectre Oil on my sword, because if it's gonna keep on summoning... Wraiths. Really don't wanna deal with that. Now with that little bit of help. Okay. Oh boy. Speaking of which... Need to hurry. Oh boy, there we 
we go. Thank God for Quinn. And you didn't. Damn it. I hate the thing it teleport behind me. It really fucks with you when you're like, I need my camera to work properly. Aha! I was a little bit more prepared that time. And my controller went off. Oh shit. There we go. It worked. It stopped. You are so absolutely lucky that I have Axie. <laughs> oh wow. Chosen a name. Yeah, have you chosen a name while I put more oil on my damn swords? No. So think of one. It's important. It's it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? Um something similar to Tamara? Name her like Tamilia or something. That sounds like a nice chick's name for something in this world. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say our name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. should turn into a lubricant. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubricant. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. That was a little mean, but... You know, we got the point across. Summon the lubricant where the botchling is buried. Okay. Well, before we do that, I'm gonna... Maybe check out a couple of things. Everyone's back out! <laughs> they just instinctually knew that, hey, the bad shit is over. Alright, I want to get whatever's here. My daughter, Bilberry, lovely girl in the apple of our eyes, died this year, the fourth of her short life. We buried her in the graveyard by the crooked birch. Whoever wants to place a lump of earth or light a candle for her, that's where to go. Witcher's wanted. Witcher wanted to root out and exterminate the monsters rampaging around these parts. During the time it takes to complete the contract, said Witcher will have the right to room and board in the Elderman's hut, cost deducted from final pay. Well, contract's a contract. Although I was surprised because it didn't seem like it really gave me much. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Show me what you got. Oh boy. This was a really Kinda of sad. Sorry, I have no money. <laughs> I'm still just kind of like processing it all. 
dude beats his wife, wife leaves him. Well, wife begins to leave dude because she beats her, her. Beats her hard enough that she miscarries. Buries the miscarriage without a name, becomes a monster, and he has to sit there and bury it again after he's deformed into a monster and feel like full on regret. Ah. <sighs> See ya. I'm giving him, I'm just, I'm throwing some sympathy points his way. Because even though he's obviously an alcoholic abusive type person who even just beats on everybody else. We saw him beating on a different dude. I don't remember what he was beating him on because I was trying to save the horses, but just geez. Dude needs to work on himself. It's one thing to be angry. It's another thing to beat other people with anger. I don't know. Get a fucking punching bag. I'm sure there are punching bags in this world. 